yippee Kaye, motherfuckers. This is Stoner Camera Review. This is me talking about the F5. I'm Kenny, and pick this. I'm sorry. I'm still have uh, I'm still having allergy symptoms, so there's gonna be a lot of like nasally shit going on. Doesn't help that this live is clipped really close to me, but uh, I'm here to talk about Nikon F5 today. Um. Oh, this coffee's still hot. Well, uh, I live in Canada. Where pot's going to be legal October 17th. Um, picked it up for 275 bucks. Um, pretty good deal. I've always wanted an F5. I think they look amazing. And it's just the cat's ass. If you want to expose negatives, it's the cat's ass. Um, quite recently, I started uh, darkroom printing. So, kind of came down to, and I, I own a bunch of film cameras. I've got, um, I kind of really have a thing for the 80s, 90s Nikons, so I've got an F801. Uh, let me just look at my camera here. A lot of Nikon FEs, uh, and a bunch of manual lenses. Some AFDs, I really like the AFD lenses because they kind of cross uh, both analog and digital easily, so you can get down with pairing with like a lens. This one here, I got the 28. Really like 28. I want to shoot 28 more. Uh, I'm shooting 35 and 50 for the most part, and I kind of like the 28 for the. Uh, it's easy to kind of manipulate foreground, midground, background detail in a in, in an intimate situation. You're close to people shooting. I like that. Um, Oh yeah, so where is it going? I was talking about uh, making prints. So, you know, they're all great, but I kind of like, once you get into printing, I think the thing is you, you want, you think of the print as the product, which is very different from thinking about the post or the image as a product. Uh, the print, and I'm still debating with phone and file down by a nag holder. The only thing I'm worried about and I kind of do like the full frame 35 mil print. But the thing I'm worried about is the uh, the burrs that you get from filing it down and cutting into the nags. And, uh, plus also like, just, just use it and don't fuck around with it. But yeah, once you start printing, uh, I just kind of wanted a no fuss, do it all camera. I was like, oh, like some, some really nice, some really nice no fuss, do it all. Film cameras are like Canon three, EOS one V, EOS one because I've had an EOS one, and they're they're really tough modern day film cameras. The best of film cameras really get they can be had for us cheap. This is two two seventy five. And ultimately. At the end of the day, it's a really nice point and shoot camera if you choose to just use it casually. So it'll be a weight weenie if you really want a camera that will just do it all on film. Pick one of these up, 275 bucks, not a lot of money. Or they've gone down a lot lately, I think. But the reason I also got this was I've, I'm still on this holy grail thing of finding an icon with a uh, waist level finder. And I had the F4 for a while. Don't have any anymore. Never managed to find a waist level finder because apparently it's impossible to find. And so I traded it and I'm looking to get one for this, the F5. So we'll see if it ever happens. I know I can order from like Japan, but I don't want to do that. So let's talk about a bit about the F5. Um, it's a lot smaller after looking at it and having the D4, because I had the D4 just about a week ahead. 
it's it's a uh, it's a uh, still a pretty. What's the best way to show this? I don't know. I don't know if you can, I can't give you a top down view, but the Nikon D4 looks massive compared next to the F5. So, anyways, it is a big camera. It's clicky. Um, but it does a hell of a lot of things. Um, things I like and don't like. Uh, not a big fan of this on off switch. You kind of have to do the thing where you're holding the other button and turn it on and off. So it's a little annoying, not the end of the world. Uh, keeps it secure though. The only other thing I find annoying is that the custom functions or one of the custom functions, uh, doesn't allow you to set the stops in like a, a half or full stop. Which is kind of annoying because I kind of like having full stops on film. Um, that's about it. I mean, autofocus wise, oh, it's just, it's fast. It's no fuss. I have no complaints about this camera. It is heavy, it is a beast. It'll take cameras all day. Um, some tips on this. If you uh, want to weigh it down a little bit, you can use uh, like a lighter lithium ion type battery. That'll get you, shave you a little bit of weight off that. Um, yeah, fantastic camera. I'm really liking it. Uh, I'm looking to get the first roll back pretty soon. Thumbs up. It's a nice camera. That's about it.